Hi there, in this video I will give more details about the Springer fork building process. This is how I did for my bike, it doesn't mean that's right or not, it has just served my needs. I'm sure it can be done in many ways. The goal of this video is to show deeper the suspension building process, as well all parts used on it. Then you may design your own Springer fork. I wanted a very stylish, functional and lightweight fork spending around $150. To match the bicycle style, I inspired myself in the classics Harley Davidson's Springer's Forks. It had to be simple and with all parts visible. I also needed to use the fork to rise about 10 cm the bicycle's front. To keep the budget, as I had installed a brand new double crown fork, I have decided that the suspension would be added and adapted to the original fork. I started the project drawing all necessary parts in Adobe Illustrator and then I transferred the parts to a 3D software to see all parts working together. The project was very similar to the design and concept and its features. Next step print all moving parts and use a PVC pipe as a prototype. Unfortunately, I have no pictures for that. Since I knew that all parts would be made of aluminum and cut with a water jet CNC, I had to make sure that all parts were well designed and working as they should. An error at this stage would increase the final production value. After a few attempts, I finally found all necessary measures. I finalized all parts that would be cut using a 3D software and sent them to the CNC cutting company. The front arch and the springs guide are made of stainless steel. The distance between each leg is calculated according to the ring size and it is parallel to the original fork. For the chrome appearance, all parts are made of stainless steel and very well polished. In the initial design, I used two old springs of a conventional bicycle front suspension. I will talk more about the springs function soon. This is the 3D model used in the development stage. I will use it to illustrate all parts in detail. Here we can see all elements created for the suspension that will be added to the original fork. These are the parts designed and made specially for this project. These are the parts I bought ready or recycled from old bicycles. I will start with the top base. This part must fit perfectly on the existing fork and offer full support for the springs. As it receives all impact in both directions, up and down, it's made of a thick hard aluminum sheet. To enhance the stability and eliminate any slack, I added a 4mm bolt in the back side. Springs supports. They are turned in the lathe to offer the perfect support for all springs and keep the guide rail stability. Springs. I originally used two old springs. The lower springs are left in the original size, and the upper rebound springs are cut shorter. With the project ready and after testing around 6 months, I had to make all springs again with higher tension. To help the rebounding springs and reduce the noises, I added two pieces of very stiff rubber. The rockers. These two parts have the very important function of moving and connecting all parts together. Plus, rise the bicycle front up to 10 cm higher. They must have the exact size to keep the suspension and the fork aligned with the very same angle, otherwise the suspension wouldn't work well. Any inclination will impair the spring's rail movement. The left side is brake discs ready. The parts were lowered using a milling machine. Finally, the binder bolts. I bought four seat binder bolts. They are essential for the joints because the threads are hidden, reducing the friction between the connected parts. I had to add some washers to give the correct grip. The connection of all parts should be stable, but not too tight to guarantee the movement. Grease is required in all joints and moving parts. 
In the Springer's guides I placed two nuts to close the system. All parts are assembled under pressure. The springs are constantly pushing the base. All aluminum parts were very well sanded and polished to give the perfect chrome appearance. So, the total investment with man work, material and CNC's is about $160. I hope this video will inspire and help you to create your own Springer fork. Please let me know your opinion about this project. Sharing ideas is always good. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Oh.